Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today I'm gonna to be doing a video on a new product I purchased. This is the Pocket Predator Hathcock Target Sniper Slingshot. So this is a slingshot as it comes. Comes with a band, this gold band. On the website, this is going for $35, or excuse me, $34.95. And with the slingshot, you get a nice handful of ammo, which I'll show you in a minute. But this is the design of the slingshot. So you have these grooves that your fingers go over here and your thumb hold it over here. And this all makes sense if you're not familiar with this type of slingshot design once I start shooting it and get different frames of it. The band's held by uh, these other rubber bands up in here. They're black, you might not be able to see them, but they're sort of wrapped around. Get some contrast there. This is the band wrapped around, holding this in place. Now this will work with flat bands, square bands, and uh, tubular bands. And the construction of this is, it's like ballistic, you know, fibers with, you know, reinforced with resin. And there is some, I think, if it's aluminum, some sort of alloy reinforcement, alloy, excuse me, reinforcement within the frame of the slingshot. And then you have a leather pouch that the ammo sits in right here. And this is sort of be, uh, excuse me, the style of this, it's gonna be held on its side to shoot and aim. And you're gonna aim off one of these top uh, part of the fork this is the ammo. This is a possible pouch I made. Does not come with this. This comes in a Ziploc bag, the ammo itself. But I'm just gonna get a few, uh, some of the ammo out just to show you the size. I don't know exactly the size. I'm not sure exactly the weight or how many comes with it. But this is about the size. There's definitely a nice handful, handful amount of this ammo. And I already set up a target. I have a backstop because obviously this is metal. It's not natural material. So I don't want to just be shooting this willy nilly and leaving, you know, trash, literally trash and litter all over the floor. So I have a backstop behind my target and I have a blanket on the ground to help me find where this is once I shoot and it hits the target and or I miss. Now let's start some shooting with a slingshot and show you some, uh, show you its capabilities. Now this is about Maybe about 11 meters. I'm gonna start off here and uh, shoot, and we'll see how how uh, <coughs> how accurate I do today, and potentially back it up some. And as I draw this back, I don't want to draw it up in my face at first. I want to take it away from my body to make sure this doesn't snap, and then I can draw it up and get my aim down. Hi. So a few things I'm, or excuse me, one modification I might make to this, but I wanted to show it as it came, is maybe put a little bit of hole, or excuse me, a small hole in the actual pouch. And that way it can keep me, uh, keep the ammo in a consistent place every time. Still shooting low. I feel like my aim's good, still shooting low. I'll try to compensate on this one. Compensate for my consistent low. Try to aim a little bit higher than I. Still low. Consistently getting low, so I think it might be with my release somehow. Let me play around with that for a shot. Hold it a little bit different, pinch it a little bit different between my thumb and forefinger. And we'll see how. See if that changes anything. Missed it. Missed it. Still getting this down, trying to become accurate. I haven't been playing with it that long since I've had it. So, uh, you know, every shot to learn in progress. Target. I think I might have found the variable that was not consistent. Look at that, missed the target and knocked it down.
and I'm actually pinching the ammo. I'm not holding the leather in front of it here. I'm actually I'm pinching down at the ammo, pinching, holding on the ammo. Just missed. Right around it. All right, I'm feeling good. This one, this one's gonna be a target. On point. It's about as bullseye as I could get on that cracker box. All right, it's addicting. Just want to keep shooting. One more. Target. Getting pretty good. Target. All right, so I think I'm feeling pretty comfortable at this distance. Let me back it up three or four meters and uh, continue shooting. All right, I'm probably at a good, probably 15, 16 meters right now. If you have any recommendations for any stronger bands or different types of bands specifically, let me know. On the website, they do sell, uh, you know, deluxe and a little bit more upgraded types of bands, black and these gold. And I'm thinking about maybe trying to get some uh, some different bands just to mess around with them. So if you have any uh, recommendations or experiences, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Look at that. Almost want to end on that one. <laughs> Let's try it one more time at this distance. Like I said, again, about probably 15, 16 meters. And excuse me for the, our US audience, I use meters a lot uh, because when I did surveys for archeology span and uh, with some conservation work, everything was done in meters, prehistoric. So that's why I use it. I'm used to judging distances in the forest using meters. That's why I do it. And it just makes more sense to me, but here we go. The more accurate, the farther I am. One more. One more from this distance. And this supposedly shooting a slingshot is supposed to help with your instinctive and just more aiming if you're doing a traditional recurve longbow style of shooting or archery. This is supposed to help with that too, all the, you know, this instinctual feeling and all that. Missed the target, knocked it off. All right, I'm gonna go pick that up. All right, I'll shoot a couple more at this distance. Low and to the left. Ooh, really low. Try to mess around with the way I was holding it, where I was pinching it between my thumb and forefinger. That was a little, really inaccurate. So, go back to the way I was doing it initially and go from there. Everything, everything uh, you know, you're learning new, all that's trial and error, figuring out the variables, how to control them, what to change, when to change them. It's just always fun learning something new, learning a new skill. So you get the idea about the slingshot, how I'm holding it on its side, aiming off the top of this. 
And because this style of, you know, I'm gripping it completely with my hands, all of the stabilization, that sort of, is coming right from my grip strength and my forearm, which I'll show. It's working muscles that you normally don't use. Now this isn't difficult, you know, to ascend. You can see how my hand has to adjust and hold this in the wrist and my hands. That it is tiring out my hands a little bit. Now, not too much I couldn't keep shooting, but something to keep in mind with the strength of bands, you wanna get into it. Uh, you know, I think this is a one size, one size. So if you have smaller hands, you might need to be a little bit stronger to hold this consistently and accurately, but anyone with larger hands, this should just fit fine, probably even be more comfortable to hold uh, with a consistent, you know, consistent force and all that. But overall, I'm just really happy with this for a few reasons. One, the price, you know, it's, you know, I think a single fellow is making it, Bill Hayes. You can see it almost fits in this chest pocket. Bill Hayes, he has a YouTube channel doing some really cool trick shots, lighting matches, shooting a distance, all that stuff with this, really cool. Um, so, you know, so I know who's making this, where it's coming from. I always wanna support cottage industry if I can. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, that this is sort of a toy for me because I'm playing with it, having fun out in the woods, and I just feel like a little kid. That's a driving force behind a lot of the activity, activities I do, because I just like to feel young and not grow up. But this is a weapon. This can be used to hunt. Now you'd have to check your local regulations laws if it's legal to use this to hunt. But the point is it's powerful enough to kill an animal and potentially kill a person. So always ex you know, exercise caution, responsibility, all of that when you're using weapons, toys, anything that has, has power. There is power with this, with this and potentially with stronger bands. Um, I'm gonna back up and just keep messing around with this, you know, as the day goes and just have some fun with this. But if you have any questions about this slingshot in particular or any advice you could give me on, uh, you know, increasing accuracy, form, any other slingshots I should check out, anything like that, leave, leave a comment, don't hesitate. Remember to check out Black Owl Outdoors, our new website. Really, really in love with that website. Study did a great job. A lot of our photography is being featured on that. Check us out on the other social media outlets. It's Craig signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.